Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, don't mind my sunburnt head from being outside yesterday or my crappy haircut because I cut my own hair on the road. But the camera is sitting on new GoPro, and I figured I'd do an unboxing. I ordered some extras to go with it, so I guess we'll open it and pull some of this stuff out, see what it looks like, and maybe go get some video with it later on today. So due to the amount of stuff that I ordered, it came in a relatively big sized box with hazmat because of the batteries that are in it. That's what all that means. And the UN 3481, I'm sure is something relative to the lithium batteries that new devices use. Ugh. Try not to cut my fingers off with the razor knife. And don't mind my squeaking chair. Too deep so we don't get into anything here. And this part of the EMT. There we go. So I ordered this straight from GoPro. You know, it came from a fulfillment center in Louisville, Kentucky. I'm assuming because of where I live. Got packing. And the SD card, 32 gig SD card, um, the tripod slash hand holder, the head mount, which I actually already have one of these, but it came as part of the package, got a battery. I ordered an extra battery and a charger around here. And the GoPro itself. I ordered a Hero 8 because my 7 white I have that my wife got me for Christmas. I have some issues with it freezing every once in a while and I figured I'd give the 8 out a try because most of the people I watch on YouTube use it. And then this box right here big box is the karma grip now these were 400 bucks and they are marked down to 99 so i'm sure they're doing away with them or something but i figured i'd try it for videos in the truck hopefully it'll help with some stabilization so there you have it there's all the pieces and i'll Open them one at a time here after we get the camera set back up. And I'll open these one at a time. I think I'm going to start with this Karma. But maybe I'll start with the GoPro and then we'll work our way through everything else. So there you have it. All right. So after screwing around with trying to get a camera set up to where I can get a video of all of this. This is about the best angle I'm going to get because I don't have a tripod. And we're sitting at the desk at the house because the big truck's still in the shop. So everything came in these plastic bags. So I'm not going to go through all of that every time I open one of these. But um, I'll pull that open. Pull this box out. Put that back in the box. And there you have the eight. Hero Black. And... And has a tab on the end of it. Pull it open. And it slides out. Here's the rest of the box. Uh, that must be for hanging it in the store. So when you pull it out, which by the way, I'm learning all of this as I'm doing it. This is the second time I've ever unboxed anything on camera, so drop a comment, let me know what I'm doing wrong, something I should be doing better, whatever. Anyway, it's on a mount. This is the same mount that I have on the dash of my big truck. This is where I'm, what holds my camera when I'm driving. And there you have the Hero 8. Now my 7 white does not have the front screen 
to tell you when it's recording, which is one of the advantages I like about the 8. Um, most of the people I know that I watch on YouTube, not that I know, but the people I follow on YouTube, this is what they use if they use anything as a Go GoPro Hero 8. But anyway, just to get it off the mount, I know this from my other mount. You flip up this little rubber piece, squeeze the tabs, and it slides off. And there you got your mount. Now this mount, I have my other mounts back here. This is one of the pieces my stepdaughter's actually got me. It's a rotating piece. Uh, well, this is actually two mounts stuck together, but they're both parts of other pieces, including that suction cup I just had in my hand. But anyway, you got other mounts. This slides in it, clips it in, and then this rubber thing holds it keep it from coming out i haven't had even with the giant vibrations in the truck i haven't had no issues with it coming out of the mount so i don't really worry too much about it most of the time it's flipped up so that i can take it out easily you can just squeeze that and it slides out and they have these stick on mounts which basically is what it comes on is a stick on mount they look almost exactly like this part right here but they have two-sided tape and I have a couple extra of them that I haven't stuck to anything but that's what holds it to the dash in my truck is a mount just like that now the rest of this box as you can see it's got directions on it how to get it off and it pulls open like that and everything falls out of it because I'm holding it up in the air So we got GoPro stickers, directions, more directions, who needs directions, and we got the owner's manual, safety instructions. Again, who needs that? Open the rest of this box, there's a little tab right here, and there you have set mounts that I mentioned. There's a battery that it comes with, that's a GoPro battery, we'll slide that out of there. GoPro battery, which my 7 white has an internal battery. So I haven't had to, that's one of the big reasons why I wanted to get an 8. Um, my wife bought me the 7 white for Christmas, and I love her for it, don't get me wrong. But she wasn't sure what to get, so she bought what she thought was appropriate. Since my truck is white, she went with white. Um, we found out later, it doesn't have an external battery or a removable battery, and... It makes for having to charge it a lot because if I have it rolling on the dash of the truck all day, it dies. So anyway, battery's got a little tab on it right there. I don't know if the camera will, on my phone will. There you go. Got a little tab on it to pull it out of there, and I only know that from watching videos. Got a charging cord, and you got the said stick-on mount. Now this looks like it's a helmet mount. See how it's curved? Um, right there. Um, it's usually a helmet mount for sticking it on a helmet for motorcycle riding or whatever, but same concept. You slide the GoPro in there, maybe. Yeah, there we go. And then flip down the tab and that will lock it in place. If you have it on a helmet or something, pinch the tabs, slide it apart and it comes apart. So there you have the GoPro. Um, now one of the other things about the 8 that I liked. Oh wow, this is anchor tight. I might have to get a screwdriver to get that out of there. <clears throat> nope, there it goes. Now you unscrew this to change mounts. Pull it off. And there's your mount. This is your mount, and you have different types of mounts. I have some other mounts back there out here. This is what I use for my POV uh, videos. I'm trying to think what I wanted to say. But anyway, this is a clip, and all I do is I put this in here, and I clip it. Well, I actually put it the other way, and I clip it on my hat. And believe it or not, I can see right past it. 
It's barely in my line of view. It's kind of like your nose. You don't see it. You just ignore it. Your eyes focus past it. But anyway, GoPro has the 8. Hero has built-in mounting, whereas the 7 does not. Uh, it's got to be inside this case all the time in order to be mounted anywhere. And you got to take it out to charge it, which... This is a knuckle buster right here for me because my hands are so big that popping that latch, I pop the knuckles off of it all the time. So anyway, I like that it has the built-in mount. Now I know a lot of people on YouTube hold them like just like that all the time, but I bought some accessories for that, hoping that they will help with stabilization in the truck. But in the meantime, um, I didn't read any directions, so hopefully I don't screw it up in doing this. But you open this tab right here, and the battery door opens up. And will come off, it pops off, it's got the little U-shaped channel on it, so it'll come off of that. And you got the battery compartment. Now inside the battery compartment, you also have, I'm going to use my little finger here so I don't take it all up the SD card slot. Oh, nope, excuse me. That's the charging slot. And this over here is the SD card slot. So I will get the SD card opened up, which I'm not going to video because it's just an SD card. There's nothing special about it. There you go. Open the plastic. You got the SD card. So I'm going to do that, get that put in there, and then I'm going to put this battery in, and I'll probably just do that all off camera. So get it put together and get it fired up, and then we'll get the rest of this stuff opened up. All right, so I got the SD card out, opened up, got it put in there. It comes with this little fake picture thing. I'm going to peel this off of here. Uh, if I can get my fingers under it. Let's see, I just, oh, let's get an angle there. There we go. Peel right off of there. Then you got the screen. And throw it in the box with the rest of the trash. You got your battery. I took out of the plastic here. It drops in. It's got a side right here with these little connectors. And then down in here, you can see there's connectors at the top. So you want to put it in like that and then the battery door see if we can get an angle on this here clips on like that like that and i just latched the latch on accident see the latch is red and you push it closed and go like that now I put this in once already and it turned itself on as soon as I put the battery in. But as you can see this time, it did not turn itself on. So uh, we'll turn it on, get the beeps, and there you have the screen. GoPro, excuse me, it'll fire up and then you got the prompts, just follow the prompts. And I'm assuming then English. Agree. So you got this. It says, and it's hard to read. I don't know if the camera will focus on it, but <clears throat> it says captures the location where your videos and photos are taken. I'm going to say yes to this just mainly because it'll help with being all over the country whenever the videos come in. My wife does some of my editing and she'll be able to tell where it's at, hopefully. So then you got it, prompt there. It says install the GoPro app on your phone to finish setup. Leave your camera on and follow the app instructions. Now I'm currently videoing on my phone, so I can't do that, but I already have the GoPro app from the first GoPro. Uh, and then this says connecting your camera. I, because I went to the back button, you can't see it because it doesn't want to focus. Uh, yeah. It says 
Connecting your camera to the GoPro app lets you easily transfer, edit, and share your media. So I'm going to skip that setup for now. And then you go to the date menu. And set the date. And hit the OK. And I don't know what time it is. So... Let me figure out what time it is, and then we'll set the time. All right, so we found out. I found out from my wife, who doesn't like being recorded. It's 1.30 p.m. So we'll set that. And I will tell you that operating this screen on this GoPro seems to be easier than it was on the white. But because this is all touch screen right here, and you just touch it, and it moves. So... This is a whole lot easier, more receptive, more more responsive. And then you get this screen, which up here, it's hard to tell because of, there you go. Gives you your battery life, what, your, what mode you're currently in, and your SD card space, which this SD card is showing an hour and 16 minutes. And then these icons are all <clears throat> different styles of shooting, uh, videoing. Not shooting, videoing. Um, there's a snail there. All right, so the phone holder fell over and I had to fix it. So anyway, um, we got icons on here, different types of filming. And I'm not sure what they all mean. So I'll have to do some research on that. Maybe look at the instructions I said you I don't told you I don't look at. But I know this one here looks like it has a vibrate thing around it so it's probably for shaking this one i am familiar with because my other camera has it that's for zooming in and out and there's a snail there which i'm sure is probably for slow-mo and the w says digital lens change how much of the scene is captured in your shot oh see that's another thing the seven white didn't do it only had wide if you see any of my other videos which go check them out if you haven't but anyway, you see any of my videos, it's widescreen only. That's part of the reason why I use my phone to do the, I don't know, interview type stuff. Because it shoots such a wide, like it would be this whole room. And I couldn't change that. So I'm kind of happy about that. And just, I tapped it again and it gives you the different screen selections. So that's cool. And yeah, that's about it for that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back off. And the next thing I'm going to open is this, which is a hand holder slash tripod. Um, again, it's in a plastic bag. I'm not getting into all that, but pull it out of a plastic bag. <clears throat> and there's your packaging. Uh, mini extension pole and tripod. Uh, when I'm looking at it, it looks backwards. I don't know if it'll look backwards for you guys when you see it on the screen or not, but you can see it's got the extension and it's got these fold out legs and you can squish this all down and use it as a handheld or the short tripod or even the uh, selfie stick. So anyway, um, Make sure I know how I'm opening this. Yeah, it looks like this, just the top peels off. Maybe. Oh, the glue is good. Okay. It was already out of the little thing when I pulled it out of there. So, there you have it. That's how little it is. So, there's your extension. And you got your legs, if you want. And there you go. Can't really see it because it's below the camera and I'm not screwing around with the camera. So, well, there you have it. Now, to attach this, it's just like all the other mounts, like I said... The Hero 8 has its own built-in mount. 
you put it down in there, which this is kind of a tight fit. And put the screw in. Honestly, I like this screw better. It'll probably get changed because this is like a thumb screw. If you're a truck driver, you're familiar, it's like a CB radio. So actually, I think I'm going to change that up right now. We'll put a different one in there. Because these are all threaded the same. All the retainers are all threaded the same. There goes a cat chasing a ball. So you put them together, you can tell the threads are all the same, same size, everything. So you can take this, which is longer, put this around here, and it'll screw right in. Maybe it'll screw right in. There it goes. There you have it. So now you got the extension. You can video yourself. That's a pity. Or you can just hold it, which that's why I ordered it, was so that I could hold it, get some shots and truck stops and do the interview angle, whatever you want to say. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to shut the phone off. I'm going to set up the GoPro, set up the app, because once you have the app on your phone, Cat's over there playing with a ball, and she threw me off, so I was looking at her. So anyway, once you have the app set up on your phone, you can control the GoPro with your app, kind of like a remote. That's one thing I didn't order, which I now wish I kind of would have, is a remote uh, to turn these on and off. They sell a remote. You can tr control up to, I think, 50 of them, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I'm going to turn the phone off, and hopefully, as long as everything goes okay, I'll be videoing with the new GoPro when the scene changes. All right, so the GoPro didn't have enough charge. Turned it on, got one shot. Maybe I'll put it in here. Uh, it was like eight seconds and it died. So I'm just gonna move on with opening the rest of this stuff, get these batteries on the charger that I bought, which also comes with an extra battery. Um, get in the bag, battery and charger. And it opens up like the rest of these boxes, I think, do. Um, <clears throat> with some very sticky-ass tape on the top of it. in the bedroom hanging pictures so you'll probably hear that in the background oh there's the charger falling out on the desk so there's your charger little square got a plug in two battery holders and usb and a mini usb oh that's a type c usb so, of course, it's made to plug into a USB plug, which it did not come with a hot plug. So, let me open this battery and see how much charge it has. Change it out with this other one here real quick. <laughs> GoPro coming on. And it only has 19% also, which is what the other one had. So I'm just going to go ahead and find a place to plug this in. As you can see, this is, if you want a reference, I mean, here's the GoPro size, it's a battery charger. And if you wanted a better reference, there's my can. Just a little itty bitty charger. Like I said, with the two battery charger thing, it'll work out well in the truck because I have a lot of USB plugs in the truck. So I can plug this in somewhere. I have wired 12 volt USB plugs into my truck for different devices in my truck. So again, 
if you watch my other videos, you'll notice no wires. I don't like wires across the truck, so I wire everything out of the way. Now, I guess it's worth mentioning, this is the same way. If you can see them down in there, a little divot, and you got the battery, and it goes in one way. It just pushes in. So, you know that. And there's a drill in the background. Wife hanging pictures. Put this other battery in there. And then I'm going to find a place to plug these in. We have a, a USB thing right over there. I think I'll plug it into. We'll go off of that. But while I'm doing this, I'm going to turn the camera off. And then I'll finish opening the rest of this stuff. No, I'm not going to open it all. But there's one more thing I definitely want to open up and get on camera. So, see you in a minute. All right, real quick, here's, real quick, here's my messy, messy desk. What I wanted to show, here are the indicator lights on that battery charger and all the stuff from the GoPro. But I wanted to show that so that um, I could tell you that it comes with a little thingy which shows you green is good and yellow is still needs charge, charged and it has two of those on there and shows you how to put the batteries in and plug the cord in for anybody that might not know trash um got another battery which i'm sure has 19 percent in it so i'm not going to open it right now and i already have one of these it came with the bundle that my wife ordered me for christmas for the white but there's the head mount and oh this one has a different oh i didn't it did, it does different than mine so what i use this for is i usually wear a ball cap and i clip this on the ball cap and i do my pov point of view driving in the truck well, apparently this piece right here will clip on a backwards ball cap so you got the head and then you can put it on the back of the ball cap as well if you wear your hat backwards i don't normally wear my hat backwards but i have some under armor hats for they used to be for working out but i don't work out anymore so i may use them for that to get the pov now it's kind of nice when i wear the ball cap because it's right in between my eyes um, it doesn't impede my sight because my eyes focus past it most of the time. That's a little exaggerated. It's usually out further than that. But anyway, um, my eyes are very close together. But anyway, I'm not going to open this now because there's no point to it. But that's a head mount and a hat mount. This is what I really wanted to open and I'm really excited to have it. I didn't look it up a whole lot. To be honest with you so hopefully i didn't waste uh the money on it um these are normally 400 bucks i got it for 100 because i'm sure they're doing away with it but this is what they call the karma well and on that side but anyway nope this side there you go the karma um it is a gopro grip it says it's handheld or wearable but it's a gimbal that was the main reason why I wanted it. I wanted to get a gimbal so that hopefully my shots aren't so shaky in using the GoPro. Um, let me look at this and figure out how to open it. I'm pretty sure it opens from this bottom down here. So we'll get the knife and slice this right here. Hopefully without slicing my finger. And you got the... Update your Karma Grip and Camera. Before use, update your Karma Grip and Camera software. And more paperwork. This is all coming out of the end of this box. Get started. Uh, warning. Exercise caution. And the important product safety instructions. So there you have that. And then we've got all this left in here. And just pull it out. And we'll set the box over here for right now. And then you have your Karma grip. Um, got 
Got a charger, another charger. So that makes three now. We got the mount for on there. But I'm assuming that's a gimbal mount because and that GoPro goes on there. And the handle itself. Inside another plastic bag. So if I can figure out how to operate the plastic bag, pull it out. And there you have it. Now, I did do enough research on these to know that they're battery operated. So when they're not turned on, this is what they do. But the point being is when you put the GoPro in there and turn it on, it will keep the GoPro straight level and in the direction that you need it to be. So um, I'm honestly going to do a little more research on this. Look at some of these instructions on how to put this thing together and go from there. I do see that this says lock and unlock though. So let me see. Cat's down there playing with one of her mice. Okay, I'll just, I guess. Yeah, gonna have to do some research. So uh, I'm gonna hit the power button on here real quick. And you can see it blinking. I don't know if you can hear it whining or not, but now, it is correcting. And I'm moving a little bit too fast for it, and I'm honestly not sure how to use it. So, I can hear the motor trying to work in it, though. Uh, you hear it. It's keeping it. I may not have been supposed to turn it on right away, so if I did, I, it was my mistake. But um, I'm going to turn it back off and see it went limp. So, um, like I said, did a little bit of research on these, not a whole lot. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get this GoPro. Well, no, I'm not, because the batteries are charging. I was gonna say I'll put the GoPro in it. So I might just do another video on this later on, but that's what that is. is you know, gimbal controller so that um, the camera is not flopping all over the place when I'm trying to do videos later on. But anyway, that's everything I got. GoPro, the Karma, headset, battery, and the charger. The charger batteries are over there charging. So uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how badly I jacked up this video. This is my second unboxing. I don't even think I posted the first one yet. So, um, which it was just a iPad mount, but um, tablet mount, I guess is the appropriate term. So anyway, uh, let me know how badly I jacked this up. Drop a comment, subscribe, like, do something. Help me get this channel off the ground so I can show some really cool stuff later on. Um, that's about it. Y'all have a good day.